pull the carbine. It's kind of a basic thing. People think they, they know how to do it, but just for a, a little bit, let's talk about how to hold the carbine. So this is, this is not your granddaddy shotgun. This isn't the rifle that you go deer hunting with. Those things have a lot of recoil. This thing has pretty much no recoil. If anything you're gonna get out of this, it's gonna be a muzzle flip. You could put this thing on your nose, fire it, and you're not gonna get beat in the face with it. What you got is muzzle flip going on here. So think about how you hold your pistol first. You hold your pistol with a two-handed grip, like that. All right, so all we're gonna do with this is basically take that same, same platform, and we're gonna take the rifle, and imagine if it were a pistol, this is what you're looking at. All we're gonna do is take this hand and drive it up into that spot right there. That's your, that's the grip on the carbine, all right? So your, your firing hand, your fire control hand, just like the pistol is as high up on the back strap, this area right here, as you can get. That's two fingers, same, everything applies, you apply with the pistol. Bird fingers touching the underside of the trigger guard, and that's your, your grip here. You adjust the stock to where you can use your arm as leverage on it. So you can one hand move, your, your support hand is gonna come up in a C-clamp, and a C-clamp is basically that grip for the pistol there. You're just gonna bring it up to the top. It allows you to operate your light. It allows you to maintain downward pressure on the weapon so that if it's, as it starts to do that muzzle flip, you're able to press down on it and control it. You don't wanna chicken wing your arm out. If this, this doesn't do anything for you here, holding it on the bottom, like you know, people were taught a long time ago. You wanna really get that arm up there and just have to rotate the hand to where you've got top-down pressure on the weapon and the support arm is parallel to the ground. That way you're able to control the gun easily and drive the gun. This thing, just like with your pistol, should point at your target. This thing should point towards your target. And when you are moving your rifle around, you're moving your carbine around, you're actually, this is the hand that drives the muzzle. This moves the gun around. This hand does it. This hand is fire control and supports the weapon. So that's basic stuff on how to hold a carbine.